Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part four of our series of session on interest calculation module in Tally. So in this session, we will understand yet another parameter. And this parameter is very interesting parameter. The parameter is overriding the interest parameter. So we will understand what is this overriding interest parameter and how it is going to be helpful for the businesses. Let us go to tally and explore this interest parameter option. Let us now go to the interest configuration. So I'm going to go to alter. I'm going to select the party ledger. I'm going to select India Mart, enter and we will come to interest calculation configuration option and press enter. We are in the interest parameter configuration. So the next option that we will understand and learn about the benefit is override parameter for each transaction. Now this option will be enabled only if you set the first option calculate interest transaction by transaction. Supposing if this is set to no, when you press enter, then overriding of the interest parameter transaction by transaction will not be available for interest calculation option of transactions. So you come back here and you press enter Y enter and you have this option called override interest parameter for each transaction. And by default, if you see this option will be set to no. So first let us understand in case if this option is set to no, what is the impact on the transaction? So earlier we have seen the interest calculation for all those invoices which have been already made and tally has calculated interest on overdue outstanding based on the interest parameter that we have set. So this is the parameter that we have set. Only thing is here we have to say past due date. So this was the original configuration we have done in the earlier session. So what we have done here, we said calculate interest at 10% calendar year and on what balance interest needs to be calculated, we said debit balance only. Now in upcoming session, we will discuss in detail about how you can make use of these parameters and what are these additional options that are there and each of the field, what are the things that we can do, we will see at a later point in time. We will save this and see if this option is set to know what is the behavior. So I'm going to press control A, control A and now let us go and make a fresh invoice for this party. So we are already in the sales voucher. The billwise subscreen opens and all this we are aware. Enter and nothing else related to interest. You are going to configure anything because you said don't overwrite the parameter transaction by transaction. Because we have set that as no, the interest calculation parameter is not going to open up while passing the invoice. Let us now go back and set the option of overriding interest parameter transaction by transaction and we will observe what is the change in the interface that we are going to see by enabling that option. And now let us go here and make this option as yes, enter. Now it is asking you the subsequent option as override advanced parameter. So once we understand these parameters, then we will discuss about the overriding advanced parameter. Currently, we are going to override the simple interest parameter by enabling this option override parameter for each transaction. So I'm going to save this configuration by pressing control A and save the ledger master again by pressing control A escape and let us now come to sales voucher and pass the same entry come here and the billwise detail 
by default we have set 30 days credit so the bill reference is taken and now if you observe when I press enter now the interest parameter screen is opening because we wanted to change the interest parameter transaction by transaction or we want to override the default parameter that we had set in the master for every transaction. So that is the impact of enabling that option of overriding interest parameter transaction by transaction. Now, let us say this particular item that you are selling to the customer, maybe your margin is very less. So in case of any delay by the customer where the outstanding is going to be beyond the credit period and if you intend to increase the interest rate, you can now go and change the interest rate of 10% which you had configured in the ledger master. You can override this for this particular transaction only. So let's say I want to make this as 12%. You can increase it or you can decrease it depending on the situation that you would want to configure. Here again, you have this option. So we leave this as calendar year. And again, we had discussed earlier that interest you want to charge only on the debit balance of this particular party. Enter, accept. So now we had given 30 days credit. So let us just quickly go and make one any transaction. Now, why did I pass this entry is basically to make the current date of this company to 28th February. Now, when you come back, the invoice was made on 21st of January. Now, if you see here, the last date of voucher entry, it says 28th of February. Let us now go to the interest calculation report and see the impact of the last transaction that we had captured where we had changed the interest from 10% to 12%. So we can go to the report directly from our secret number three, that is go to, click on go to, and then type interest. So we will see ledger interest calculation. So enter. So we have this India Mart come here. And now it says for India Mart, the interest it is charged is 158 for the invoice that we have raised on 21st of January. So which means as on the current date of 28th February, this amount is still pending. It says the billing amount is 60,000 and the pending amount is still 60,000. So now we'll have to see whether tally is accepted my overriding parameter of changing my interest rate from 10% to 12%. So just press enter here. And if you notice, this invoice was supposed to be paid on 21st of February because we had given 30 days credit facility. But whereas as on the current date, that is 28th of February, this invoice is overdue by eight days. And now for eight days on 60,000 at the rate of 12%. So you notice here now the interest rate is changed to 12% for this particular transaction. And for eight days at the rate of 12%, the amount of interest charged is 158. So that is what we are seeing the interest here. Now let us quickly go and pass one more entry and reduce the rate of interest and see whether it is getting impacted. Click on go to and from here, from this report, you can go and create a voucher come to the bill wise detail new reference and the cursor is now come to the due date let us assume that you are going to give only 10 days as credit for this particular invoice enter accept and now again if you notice here the default rate of 10 percent gets auto populated and the cursor is there in the interest rate field so that you can modify them. So we'll make this as 8%. Enter calendar year, debit balance only, and then save this. So this way, I hope you understand this way, the current date becomes 15th of March. So now I'm going to escape. Okay. And if you see here, 
in the report automatically tally is calculated interest and now it says for this particular invoice which we raised on 28th of february the interest is 79 rupees so how does this 79 has been calculated come down here and now press enter and if you notice here 10 days credit period this bill was supposed to be paid by 11th of march the current date for this company is 15th of March. So there is a delay of five days. Now, if you notice, the interest rate is now reduced to 8%, which is what we had specified during the invoice. For five days, at the rate of 8%, the amount of interest is 79. So this way, by enabling the option of overriding interest parameter transaction by transaction, will give you the flexibility of deciding on the rate of interest that you would want to charge on that particular invoice based on whatever is the criteria that you want to apply and decide on the interest rate. I hope this option of overriding interest parameter would be of help for some of you in your organization where you can decide the rate of interest in every invoice when you are making the invoice. So that is the advantage of the option of overriding invoice. In the next session, we will see the advanced parameter. What is this advanced parameter overriding? We will see. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.